Hi there, welcome to Baby Boomer in Winnipeg. So, for this episode, I had been looking online at these solar heat collectors that are made with pop cans or beer cans, and I thought I'd give it a whirl. I've got an old leftover patio door window, so let's see how it works on this episode of A Baby Boomer in Winnipeg. Preparing the can, so I'm going to cut a hole in this end and cut a hole in this end. So to, I just need a starter. Then I take my tin snips. Just a rough hole. The other end you've got a hole here. So of course a lot easier to get started because there's a hole here. And I end up with a hole in that end. Once I started, I made this box out of 1x6 spruce. And the bottom is 1x6 spruce as well. I took a bunch of beer cans and pop cans. I cut some holes in the top. These are the tops here. And the bottoms look similar. I cut some holes in them with some tin snips. And I joined them all together with this metallic tape. I'm hoping that'll work great. The next step, of course, is to paint it black. I've got, for the input side, there's a hole there where the ductwork is going to come in, but I've got three on the input side, and I've got four on the output side. And you may ask, why did I do that? Well, the thickness of my glass, or the width of my glass, I could have six or seven, so I just thought, well, I'll go with seven, see what happens. I put styrofoam insulation all the way around and you can see the styrofoam insulation here inch and a half in the bottom the sides are covered and I've got styrofoam insulation between my input and output side just to keep those separate I've got it along the sides here and I've cut everything out nicely to line up with my edging for my window this was paint day set it up outside here paint it. Today what I'm up to is installing my solar heat collector. It's January so of course we have snow but here's the back side of my heat collector the inlet and outlet there. And if you want to see what it looks like on this side there's the glass inside are the pop cans and the beer cans. I put a little edging on top just to have some water run off and I'm going to pipe it in through this window here <coughs> neighbor's dog we're getting too old for this <coughs> so that's phase one next I have to <coughs> mount it to the stand and I got two stands I think I got enough room I had to move that little fence and then run the pipes down into here. So my plan now is to take this one window out and I'm going to install this device which actually fits in the window and what I have is this will be the air from inside the room going outside and this will be the hot air coming back into the room and I put some little dampers in here so they'll close when they're not being used and inside this side I don't know if you can see it there's a little muffin fan. So what I have is on this side, I've got the electrical wire that's running outside, and that wire is going to be hooked to a solar panel. And the idea is when the sun hits a solar panel, by that time the box is actually heated up, and it's gonna turn on this muffin fan, it's gonna drive air outside, and then push it back inside through this other one. So it'll be going out, coming back in, and this is going to sit right up here in the window. Okay, let's just look at the outside now. Here's the collector. And there you can see I've got my outlet on the left, my inlet on the right. And I'm going to hook that up to these pipes. To keep it simple, I'm using these flexible pipes and just a couple of hose clamps, 4-inch hose clamps. 4-inch flexible pipe. It's some kind of aluminum pipe. And 
I saw another video where a guy said just use what you have and I actually had some of this left over from venting out a bathroom fan. So I'm going to hook that up here now. Hopefully it's long enough, but I think it'll work. So I did get the pipes hooked up. I hooked up two of them. And so I've got the inlet from the basement and the outlet going back into the basement. And the next thing I have to figure out, I, I have to insulate those somehow because it's cold here. So I'm going to be putting some fiberglass insulation around it. Well, I did get the solar panel mounted. It's mounted to the right of the solar panel. And I got it standing up. I think it'll work. This is more of a pilot project. Now, the reason I have it on the right side is the this fence is in the way here for light. So I'm thinking when the sunlight comes around, it'll hit this solar heater first, heat up the solar heater. And then by the time it gets to this solar panel and starts the electricity for the fan, this should be heated up well enough that we're actually pumping heat into the building and not cold air. So I actually wrapped the pipes with uh, insulation and some black garbage bags. It ain't pretty. As I said, it ain't pretty, but it's getting cold out here. I've had enough for today. So tomorrow I can try hooking up some wires and make sure that motor works and we'll see how this thing turns out. Well, today we have some maximum sunlight hitting that. So I'm just going to go downstairs and see how it's working out. Okay, I'm down in my basement and I'm just looking at the unit right now. It's minus 22 degrees Celsius outside. So this thing has to take my indoor air at 20, take it out to that device, heat it up and bring it back in. And I think the ambient temperature outside doesn't help much. But anyway, I'll show you what's going on here. The fan is running full tilt because we have that solar panel working. And we're getting around 18 degrees. This maybe looks like 17, 18 degrees Celsius coming in. And I can feel the warm air coming in. I did have some troubles that the solar panel was running the motor too quick. So I put a on off switch just to try this out. So that I can just turn it on when there's full sunlight on the heat collector itself. Now I think because of the ambient temperature, maybe it's not high enough. I want more than plus 18 degrees coming in. I'd like at least 22 or 25, something like that coming in. Uh, if I do get some consistent heat, I'm going to add to that pipe and actually pipe it down into the room a little bit more. But I think it's a success. It's actually 40 degrees warmer coming in than outside. That's a plus. And I'm thinking if I got a day where you know, the temperature is getting up around zero Celsius. I'd probably have some good results here. So we'll just keep trying it out for a little bit more. But for now, we'll watch it, see how it does. And I'll put some comments under the video as to how it's doing later on, or maybe I'll do an update video. But for now, thanks for watching A Baby Boomer in Winnipeg. Make sure you subscribe if you like these videos. And have a sunny, warm day.